Greetings, Professors Clear Chua and I welcome you to this training module on how to conduct a chi-square test using SPSS. Essentially, we are presented with a problem with two categorical variables and we are interested in determining if there is any relationship between the two variables. We would like to illustrate this with an example. Let's say we are looking at the course offering in an MBA program and the MBA program offers three majors, a major in accounting, finance and marketing. And for this reason, you have a set of courses directed at accounting, finance and marketing. Now, let's say we face a challenge in getting students enrolled into the courses and we need to determine the right number of courses. And we also assume that the undergraduate degree they have taken in the past may have something to do with the choices they make in the MBA program. For example, some students who have BA are more likely to take marketing, whereas uh, those with an engineering bachelor's may are more likely to take finance. And we don't know the answer to this question, um, but that is our question. You know, are MBA course choices correlated with the undergraduate degree of students? And we have a hypothesis here to test. The null hypothesis is that there is no relationship between the undergraduate degree and the MBA major. And the alternative hypothesis is that the MBA major enjoys a correlation with the undergraduate degree, that there is some relationship there. We can test this relationship uh, using chi-square. And here's how essentially the data would look like. You would have a cross tabulation between the two categorical variables, the undergraduate degree here um, in, in, the, in the first column, and the MBA majors are listed in column second, third, and fourth, and this is the distribution of your data set. So let's start with entering the data set. We can um, create three new variables in SPSS. One is called degree, the other one is major, and frequency is the number of um, students with degree of type one with a major and another type. So say, for example, if you look at it here, um, after we have attached the labels to these codes, um, someone with a BA doing an accounting major, um, there are 31 of those. Those with the BA and finance major are 13 and so on and so forth. So we enter the data like this, input the data and assign the labels in, and you can do the labeling here um, easily in SPSS. So once we have done the labels, uh, the other next step before we run the chi-square test is to weight cases. Um, and this is important because if you're working with aggregated data, that is the cross tabulations or the tabulations have already been done, as is the case with our data set. So we go and click on data, weight cases, and then it will open up a dialog box for us. And in that dialog box, we say, well, uh, we have the three variables here. So we take the third one, which is the frequency variable, and, and, and click on weight cases by, and there's an arrow un underneath this red arrow, click it and it comes here. So the third variable frequency ends up here, and that is the variable we are weighting the data with. And we press okay, and then click on um, an analysis or analyze descriptive statistics, and then cross tabs. And, and when we do this, it opens up the, the, the cross tabulation dialog box. And in that dialog box, we have the undergraduate degree in the rows and uh, we select major in the columns and and um, we may have to select statistics to define if you want to run the chi-square test sometimes it's selected automatically but if it's not just make sure that the test is selected by clicking on statistics so here we are looking at the test output you could see the the SPSS output first reproduces the table and then once it says reproduce the table it reports the chi-square test and it's called the Pearson chi-square the value is 14.7 and it's hard to judge from the value if it's statistically significant or not. You have to rely on the asymptotic significance. That's the p-value. And notice that the p-value is 0 0.023. So whenever the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there exists a systematic relationship between the two categorical variables. And in this case, undergraduate degree and the MBA major have a statistically significant correlation. There is an association between the two variables.